just just ice <laughs> yeah. dual icicles coming out. It's like, can it was, somebody clean Michaela's face? And I love that it, this one is now a musical, which like, just brings a whole new element. It makes me wish that parts of my life were a musical. And obviously this is like about yes. a snow day, which seems like the most mundane day of your life, but like could turn into something epic. Is there any day in your life that you kind of wish could be turned into a musical? Oh, that's a what? great question. I feel like school for me, because it's like, when you're so stressed after writing five essays in a day, it's like, I need a, like a theatrical break right now. Yes. You know, like I need to sing and belt my heart out. I think school for me. It's like High School Musical and Zac Efron just banging on lockers, right? You exactly just want to go, that. <laughs> Exactly that. I don't know, it's gonna <laughs> Mine would probably be cleaning my room. I would love to make that oh. an epic, um, fantastic musical that I could sing to and have the clothes sort of just like magically fantasia themselves where they're supposed to go you know <laughs> and have like little cinderella like animals oh my exactly. god that yeah would be i would love that that would be <laughs> my day is a musical uh i'm i'm a i'm a singer i'm a songwriter so it would be a i don't know it seems pretty boring i spend a lot of time just uh sitting at the computer uh searching through different snare sounds so maybe that's something. Yeah, I definitely think that most of my day consists of school, and I do school on my computer, and so that would be pretty funny if you turned school into a musical. <laughs> just all oh, Zoom, I... every Zoom square, just someone singing. Yes. Just You'd have to choreograph the squares. <laughs> that would be sick. And people turning off their cameras at different times. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, someone please do that. I had a great idea for a, a a song that was fully produced out of like office sounds and like computer clicks and and make it like about that. So I think this we're making something here. We're onto something. Well, I love the idea that you take something that you wouldn't think should be a musical and you give it this new life. Um, what is something for you that you think that you would love to see done as a musical maybe years down the line? I'm gonna say Pulp Fiction the musical would be great. Oh, okay. I feel like Pulp Fiction, now that I really think about it because that the surf music is so such a part of it. It could be all like that type of music. You could even get like Beach Boys type songs and be really you're cool. I can already see, I mean, the little dance scene is already in my head you know, right now as you're You know what would be it. funny is, is if you've turned some sort of very horrific horror movie into a musical, like a oh, classic okay. horror movie. And then I, it's a weird idea, I know, but I feel like it would be hilarious. But if someone pulls that off, that'd be pretty genius. Cause you can't have someone singing like, I'm gonna kill this person because then it's gonna give it away. So exactly. how do you, okay. Pennywise like doing, an I, doing an I want song would be something to say. Yeah. Was Titanic a musical? <laughs> I no, actually don't know. Maybe it, it might've been at some point, it but not like been. in this capacity, you know? That's right. They could remake Titanic and make it a Titanic. Be That'd be so cool. That, oh my god. That would be really funny. <laughs> I would front row, front row. Um, I'm getting you? Yeah. Oh my god. Imagine my heart would go on on like a big Oh my god. No, the inner the 13 year old in me is just now you're in love with it. Right um, what was your favorite thing about playing these characters? Like, how did you relate to them? And were there anything, like any challenges you had with them? Lane and I are very similar in the sense that we use sarcasm as a coping mechanism. And we both would go uh, do anything for our best friends. And and that's what, what, what Lane does in this film. She stands by a house side the entire time and um, is willing to help him in every little aspect of his life. However, with that being said, I have learned a lot playing her because she is just so, so fearless. Um, and she's willing to risk it all um, despite what the outcome might be, whether it's positive or negative. And she is just a go-getter, fearless, as I said. And so I, I'm a bit of an overthinker myself sometimes, so I, I kind of picked up from her and just realized that, kind of learned from her that life's too, too short to be worrying about what the outcome might be. Life's about taking risks. For my character, we're very similar. She loves fashion and clothing and so do I. And um, I, think, I think we're probably the most different in our priorities. 
So Claire, one of the big things she learns is um, what she prioritizes and to maybe maybe shift her priorities a little bit. So we definitely do have slightly different priorities. Mine is not so much on uh, my boyfriend <laughs> as her, but uh, I do love, I love her confidence and her kindness and just her ability to talk to anyone about really anything. I I, um, I like that and I, I relate to that. And I, I did learn, I learned to assess my priorities because you know, we have different ones, but then I was like, what matters to me? And like, am I, Am I really aligned in my life with the things that are important or am I stressing too much on things that aren't? If there is a blooper reel for this movie, is there any moment that stands out? Because it seems like such a fun cast. I know, Jerry, you are you obviously have been making people laugh for many years. Um, what would be on that blooper Decades reel? now. <laughs> uh, I don't I know what would be on that. One. Probably a lot of slipping and falling, right, guys? A lot of slipping and falling. Because we shot in the snow. Like that's like real, that's snow, real snow, snow up in Montreal. Okay. Oh, oh yes. yeah. We shot in freezing snow in Montreal, and yeah, a lot of lot of concussions. <laughs> I don't know about well, I know quite the concussions. <laughs> Michaela, Michaela is totally different now than then because <laughs> mm, I don't Montreal remember like twenty times. I can't remember anything before we filmed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there's gonna be if the blooper reel ever does get released, it will be hilarious because there are some funny outtakes on there from everybody. Yeah, it was so cold. I remember there was one day that it was very, very cold. We were filming the final scene of the of the film and we were out there for a while and everybody's jaw, you know, was my jaw was seizing up. It was so cold. And so my American accent started to slip away and every take Hal got more and more Australian. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. and they were they were like Kai, come on! I'm like I'm trying, I'm trying. R it's R, snow R. day, Kai. There snow are day. no shrimp on the Barbie here. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, yeah, no, no I. They're prawns I, on the grill. We didn't say shrimp. Yeah, that's actually a good story. It was so cold. There there would be times that I would say my line. Oh, I'm trying to think of which line it was, but you know I'm not going to spoil it. But I had to say something with a W. And it was in the standoff scene with Snowplow Man. And it was so cold that my cheeks and lips were frozen. And so, say the word was watermelon. I'd be like, watermelon. <laughs> like, wa watermelon. Just it was drool, so... Drool, just ice, yeah. drool icicles coming out. It's like, can it was, somebody clean Michaela's was... face? <laughs> right. This is what you guys get when you want authenticity by putting us in real snow, right? Yeah. You could have put us on a sound stage with fake snow, all nice. Nope. Would have had all no. the words right. <laughs> no, but this I love was that we're gonna... so much fun. So much yeah. fun. When you see the yeah. cold breath, that's real deal. The Bobby's fall was hilarious. So I really hope that ends up on there. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh... It must be. It must be. Yes. Yeah, that was that was hysterical. So. <laughs> What's your favorite song in this movie? I imagine doing these numbers must be fun, but also a little challenging because you have the snow, you have these bulky more out, you know outfits that you probably would in you know any other day. That's not a snow day. Um, what was the challenge, and what was your favorite musical number? Don't call me vain. <laughs> my favorite one was mine. <laughs> it was so fun. It was just so much fun, and we practiced for so long. And we practiced so hard and the outfits are so great. Like I loved my fit a lot. So being able to like do that and bring it to life was just, it was so fulfilling. And um, thankfully mine was not out in the snow. So our biggest complications were the size of the space and all of the different moving parts. There's a lot of people in it and a lot of moving things. So working around that and me, I've never been in a musical before. So I'm not a dancer and singer as the amazing Fabi and everybody else. So this was really, it was really hard for me to, to learn how to be mindful of all of the all of the different things around me while also still being in character and, and singing and dancing. It was kind of amazing. My favorite song, I have to agree with Shelby, is Shelby's song. Um, it's so fun. Oh my God, it's so fun. And um, I think for me, the, the hardest part was, um, I I say um, maybe dancing in the snow. It did take a, a bit of time to get used to, especially since we were all with, um, our you know our coats and our toques and our gloves and and it, it was so much fun but it, it did take time getting used to um i i don't think i slipped which is a great thing is a positive i did slip on 
Lane's song. Um, but in the finale, we, 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 we got it done. And it was, it was so, we were definitely not wearing those heating packets that we were talking about. Like, no, we were sweating so much that day. It got to like minus 20 at some stages. Oh, it was like 15 degrees Fahrenheit. It was brutal, but like, what a blast. It was worth it, right? Worth it. Oh yeah. It was so oh, fun. Yeah. Oh, and Kai you know, and I especially in a good way. never, you know, I didn't grow up in the snow. I don't think he did, but Michaela a little bit, but it was so cold, so snowy. And it was, it was such a treat to, uh, to be in Montreal at that time. It's very magical. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. place. And walking around at night with all the twinkly lights and the snow, it's like, this is people. And I, I bet they take it for granted, but it's it's magic. Yes, we were. Yeah, I, I can only looking... do it in small doses. Snow yeah. in small doses. <laughs> yeah. It's, right, it's, right. The white fluffiness of it just makes you want to fall forward and face plant. That's oh my God. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Don't do that, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's fluffy and it looks so comfortable. <laughs> as long as it's not yellow, you know, you're good. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, right. lovely. Good point. <laughs> Me and Favi were um, were walking down the street. There was someone cleaning their car of all the uh, of all the snow, and we went up and asked if we could do it for him, because and we spent over half an hour cleaning his car of the snow, just absolutely loving it. And we kept saying, "Oh, I'm so sorry. Like we're taking your thing." And he was like, "Please keep going." It was like, like he was. Where were you when I lived in Connecticut? That's why I moved. I was like, I am not waking up early to do that anymore. <laughs> it was. Well, there It was so much fun. You're just an ugly mug who's in love with a toy bird. She has a name. Are you all right? Do I look all right? I don't appreciate that tone. Oh,